This is the Barefoot Traveler and today we are in Gary, Indiana and we are exploring this abandoned Methodist church. And I have my friend James who, who's helping me today. So let's check it out. Pigeon! Hi Pigeon, where are you going Pigeon? Fly away Pigeon. Gary has suffered from long history of racial segregation and a loss of steel jobs. Gary is also home to serial killer Darren D. Vaughn, which pled guilty to seven murders. He led police to those women's bodies, all of which were found in five abandoned buildings in Gary. But not all of Gary is bad. This is also in Gary. This is called Marquette Beach Park. And this church was once the largest Methodist church in the entire Midwest. And as you can tell, it has been in decline for a long time. And it currently sits abandoned and just falling apart, unfortunately but it is a very beautiful structure and covered in graffiti. A Methodist church had been present in Gary since 1906, also the year of the city's founding. The company U.S. Steel actually donated the land that the church is built on. The construction beginning in 1925 took 21 months and cost $800,000. The first service was held on October 3rd, 1926. Media is the virus. Looks like an old fireplace. This looks like uh, an old stage. It's quite beautiful, actually. And it huge ceiling, as you can tell. But it's very beautiful. Some more graffiti. Quite interesting. It's pretty creepy, isn't it? Yes, it is. A lot of history to it? Yep. I'm probably going to be studying up on the history pretty soon about this place. Awesome. And seeing what else we can find out about. Absolutely. So let's go and get it done. Hey James, why don't you go and try out that tire swing? Go and try. Does it fit all right? Yes, but it, it, as you know, it could fall any minute, so it's kind of scary to be hanging above this floor because it could also fall. As you can see, there's a very big hole there that probably leads to the basement. Let's go and walk up the steps. How about that? Okay. As long as we don't fall through, just be very careful. might want to get close to the wall where you can like fall along. So these steps are like really steep. And it's probably going to be harder going down than it is going up. Did 
James is climbing up the ladder. He's brave like that. Mom is floor up here, sorry. I'm going to climb. Okay, I survived. How's the view up there, James? Well, as you can see, I can see the top of the stage, which there was probably like a light there. And it's possible that people stood up here with cameras and recorded. And there's like some graffiti here on the wall. And there's like a big rope there, which is connected to some pipe. It's possible that there was like people that lived in here, like homeless people. And there's a lot of like old clothes and an old mattress and lots of other things laying around. And Are you scared, James? Yeah, not really, as this is concrete right here, so I'm pretty much solid right now. Uh, I gotta go under. <laughs> uh, outside. <laughs> that probably would have been the easier way to get out than how we came in. <laughs> what about you? Is this a dungeon? Ooh. What's in here? Just a bunch of junk. I'm not sure. Looks like there he was an upstairs <laughs> at one point. I don't know about now. I don't trust those steps at all. What about you? Mm, probably not. Kinda. Looks like they boarded that part oh, up. Ooh, I almost fell there, actually. Right. Looks like not much of anything. Don't look like we'll be going upstairs in there. What's down here? Uh oh. There is literally no steps there, so I guess we're not going to be getting to go down there. Oh man, that'd be not interesting. It says jump. Okay, save me. Hello? Is there anyone down there? I don't think so. <laughs> is that the basement? I hope not. You're crazy. Well, let's continue on our way. Got your flashlight handy? Yes, I do. It's on. Here is a room. It looks like there was a mattress in there. Oh, there's a one room we were in. Oh, we were. Be careful. Looks like we're just going around in circles at this point. What do you think? Here's the doorway. Did we go in here over here? Yeah, that's where the uh, uh, stage is. Here's a doorway. We have some other good places. There's some steps in there. I don't know if we can go up those or not. Probably not. But... Little entranceway. And across the street is a charter school. Kind of amazing this place is, knowing that it was once the largest Methodist church in the entire Midwest. And kind of sad to see the state of, of the building currently. Board of SS Britons. An old paper. Wow. And there's some names on here Jamie Buckingham, Jim Jackson, and George Ivy. And it says there's a lot of different names here. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Yes, it's an old magazine. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yes, it is. It's got like old stuff. Like it says fastest sellers from 1979. So this place may have been abandoned a very long time. Well, this church, I believe, opened in 1975. Oh, really? 
Yeah, so that's been there almost since the beginning. Wow, a poster of Pope John II. Newspaper clipping, it says, Will Rogers says letters to, del to the delegates. And then it's kind of burnt. And it's talking about, it says, Will Rogers, the cowboy humorist, began covering political conventions for this and other newspapers in 1920 and continued to 19, 1932. It says, Signet, <laughs> Signet Vista, it says, a new paperback imprint featuring books for young adults. Yes, there's a way down. There's a way down. It's possible that we could go down there. There's an arrow that's pointing down. There's a rail there. If you want to be, we should not yeah. go down there. Because we don't really know what's down there either. If anyone watching, they want to go down there. Be my guest. There's literally lots of more rooms up here. Oh, there's a good wall up there. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I thought we were going in that way first. Not bad. And here's the other side of it. Where are you going, James? Let's go out, outside. But well, we might be able to go up on top of the roof if we wanted to. Do I want to go upstairs? Yes. Heck yeah. Let's go. Are you sure this is safe, James? I made it up here. You made it up here? James, what did you say about falling to your death again? Uh, I don't want to fall to my death. So as long as these steps are really, really sturdy, let's hope so. And this is uh, Gary, Indiana, on the outside. I have made it to the top. Looks like James has successfully made it to the top. While wow, I am lagging behind. <laughs> a tree? There's more rings inside there. And a big wheel. That's right there. Looks like we made it to the top without dying. How do you feel about that, James? How do you feel about it? Yeah! <laughs> we made it. Woo! That was scary, wasn't it? Is that Pac-Man? Kids do not try this at home. So the roof that we're walking on is very soft. And definitely don't don't trust it at all. So I don't know how long the roof will even stay up until it collapses. We go to this bridge to go over there to see to see the Pac-Man or explore the rest of this area you want to make sure that you go to the left and or make sure you hold on to these rails because if you slide them James are you gonna walk across there do I want to walk across there honestly probably not go ahead I'll watch you James <laughs> James made it but he almost died I let me get over there to you don't look down let's look down this is what I'm walking across right now no nets is there James nope. it's literally a hole here so if he slips and falls like if it was raining and this was wet or just so happens something broke and he slipped or tried to run across real quick he would be down in this hole right here all the way down there and actually there's like a hole in the floor down there so it would go not only to the bottom floor but it would also go into the under the base to get him out how are we ever going to get out of here james well it looks like we're going to have to either go in these rooms and find some steps to go down or go back the way we came I think I made a terrible mistake. Great job on it. 
What'd you say, James? I said whoever done the Pac-Man done a very great job on it. Right. Is there any steps to get down or no? I'm not really sure because I didn't walk in this room because the roof is literally falling. <laughs> we make great decisions, don't we, James? We want to walk under this roof that's literally about to fall. Okay, there might be a way down right here. If we can get down that way, but I don't think we can. What do you think? We might be able to get down. It's pretty cool up here, though, though, isn't it? Yes, and there's like wiring here too, yeah. like old wiring. This may have been like rooms where people stayed. I really don't know for sure what this was. Yeah. Three, two, one. Definitely nothing scary. Nothing around the corner. Looks like windows. Windows to the outside. I literally think our car is parked down there. That one. Did we come this way? Yep. Let's keep going. Keep going straight. I just ran into something. There's no steps down there. there oh no, we have to walk across that bridge again. I wonder what this was. This looks like a hallway here. There's, there's lots of different rooms here. And this looks like a clothes rack, maybe. There's a fireplace here. This may have been like a room, or maybe even like a living room. Maybe there was... Over here to the right looks like an old bathroom or something. There's like an old sink there. Too thick of brush, ain't it? It's uh. So I guess this place, there's lots of trees growing yeah, up in here. Let's go back, go back down. I would really have loved to have seen what this place looked like before it had fallen in, and maybe even explored it before it had fallen in. Maybe like after it had recently been abandoned. On this wall, it says we're all damaged. It's how we still love with a broken heart that matters. And that's a very good message, isn't it? Santa, hurry. <laughs> Get it? Santa in the fireplace? <laughs> and there's the stairs we took to get up on the main roof. Staircase going down. But I don't know if I want to know what's down there. Clean. Yeah. Be very careful and you're going to take that risk. It looks like you're, we're exploring some underground tunnels or caves or something 666 oh boy this is gonna be scary I don't know where James went to he got in front of me uh, let's try and make it to the other side maybe we can find him and... <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah, James you scared me you scared me to death why would you do that for I got you on that one, didn't I? You did. You scared me to death. Here, on the wall. Oh! Clown! Scary! There is a ha here, like... There's like a bunch of ha-ha-has, yeah. All possibly the Joker has been here. And satanic signs and upside-down crosses. And let's go ahead and make it down the steps. Yeah, we've Did been we in there. That way? Did we go down the steps? No, we can't. That well, remember this is the when we try to first walk in. It was boarded up, remember? And we had to sneak across. Here, here's the where we started. Remember to follow me on Instagram, and you can click on the link in the description. We are exploring. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> we should make a blooper video. Yeah.